Hello everyone, my name is Flavio Pereira, I'm part of the technical enablement team and this is the data migration lesson 100. Uh, we're going to cover the basics of data transfer service and storage gateway and how those two services can help you to move data uh, from on-premises to OCI. So we're going to divide this in, um, in a few portions and the first portion that we're going to talk about is your, your planning your data migration to OCI. This is very important uh, to start. So when you decided to make that movement, you decided to get all the data running on premises and move that to OCI, you have to have a, a good understanding of what kind of applications, database, uh, you actually want to move, identify their, their versions, their dependencies, um, have a good overview of uh, what exactly you're actually up and running and how that's going to be translated to OCI as well. So we have other lessons um, that we cover database options uh, and some of the matrix uh, around versions uh, that can support be supported in OCI. It's very good to understand that, to understand what the version supported, uh, how can you translate your version of Oracle database on-premises to OCI, how you can bring your own license, all those options available so you can have, uh, you can succeed on your micro migration. Another aspect of, of the planning is understand the reg regulatory compliance. So if your environment is under some compliance uh, direct directives, for example, HIPAA or FedRAMP or even PCI. So you have to understand how the nature of their data is hosted on your on-premises and how that's going to be hosted in OCI. G understand how you architect the application, how you architect the environment in order to support uh, the, that data and, and, and respect the compliance uh, uh, that you, you, you have to, uh, to use it. Uh, around the storage too. So what kind of type of storage you have? Uh, are you using code? Are you using hot storage? Uh, well, how big is the data? How big is the storage uh, that you, you're using today? How, what's the amount of data you have? This is really important to understand um, and, and planning to uh, actually have a good planning capacity planning when you're moving that to OCI. Another one is the networking portion. Um, very good uh, aspect is how you're gonna transfer that data over to OCI. Are you gonna use that through uh, public internet? Are you gonna transfer to using VPN connectivity or fast connect? So what kind of met what kind of methodology you're gonna use? What kind of network connectivity you're gonna implement to make sure your on-premises data center can talk to the OCI and how you're gonna transfer that data over. Around, still around in the planning uh, is, again, understanding your environment. Once you get all that information about the environment, you start deciding what kind of environment I want to move. Do I want to move my production environment first? Or I think it would be better if you start doing uh, moving the, what we call the low-risk environments, development environment, testing applications, uh, Q&A. So things that has less tied in terms of integration and and data so you can get comfortable uh, with the platform you can get comfortable migrating that data over so then you can make better decisions when you decided to move your production environment so the 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 the, the how, how critical is the business you you're trying to uh, move over to OCI what kind of environment you want to you want to try first and one of the third options which is uh, part of the planning too if you want to just do a disaster recovery in the first place some companies they decided to they don't have a disaster recovery plan uh, today for their on-premises environment they want to start that with OCI and created a disaster recovery plan to host all the data there and then eventually uh, ended up moving some of the production environment over to OCI to host that uh, on the cloud environment. And then they have uh, all the disaster recovery across regions uh, and so forth. So this is a, another thing you have to think about and how you start planning the migration uh, and collecting all that information to make the best decision uh, when you start um, looking to move that, that your data to OCI. So, um, on the next uh, portions of the video, we're going to talk about two different types of migrations. We're going to talk about offline migration and online migration. This is just uh, an overview uh, for now of how that's going to look like. So, if you're talking about offline migration, we're going towards a data transfer service. 
and some options you can use there in order to move the data from on-premises to OCI. And we're going to talk about online migration, which is using what we call a storage gateway uh, that you can copy data over to a storage gateway and then send that over uh, to OCI as well. Of course, there's other ways to do online migration, like through Fast Connect or IPsec VPN. Uh, we touched some a few things there too, uh, but we're going to uh, tell about those two services, data transfer, data transfer service, and storage gateway.